so many people here. Uh, great atmosphere, great tradition. I can't ask anything better for our team. You know, this is the reward we get for winning the CIAA tournament last year, which was huge for our school. It's the first time we won it since 1973. And I appreciate Duke giving us this game. Um, you know, I, the players are happy as anything. Like yesterday, I had to try to get their focus because they're taking pictures, videos when we practice here. But it's okay. They're supposed to, one of the first things I put on the board is enjoy the moment because they deserve it. And then, uh, you know, then we try to do the best we can on, in the game. And they're just too talented a team. You know, my scouting report, when I was talking to him, right, I said, NBA player, NBA player, NBA player, lottery pick, lottery pick. That's what you're playing against. You know, I mean, honestly, and there's probably a few more than that. And so we knew, and we had to be on point because a team like that is every mistake you make, they're going to make you pay for it on offense and defense, and we've made a bunch of mistakes. But, you know, we hung in there. I, I was glad that we played really hard in the second half. And we didn't give up. Coach, what kind of expectations did you and your team have coming into this game? Uh, expectation for us is, honestly, I didn't want to lose by 40, 50 points. <laughs> and I wanted to make, I, I was mad at halftime. I was hoping to be within 20 points at halftime. Just goals like that. We're down by 28. And uh, I, I wanted to be able to, to execute on offense because we have some decent sets. But it was so loud in there. Half of the guys were running one set, and then the, the other guys were running another set. So, uh, so I was disappointed in that, but that was just our focus is use the clock, run the sets, and I'm happy with the last seven to eight seconds because they switch a lot of things to get a shot with five seconds and under. And that way we control the tempo, and then we have three guys getting back, so we get transition. But you know, that's what you want to do. But they're really good, you know. I mean, so it wasn't easy. And then um, you know, defensively, you know, Duke doesn't do a lot of complicated things on offense. They just execute extremely well. And you have to be on point. You know, our bumps weren't right. We weren't helped. Ball hedging, they're really good with that. So I, I was trying to get our principles and get us in a position where we're supposed to do defensively and get our man-to-man -man defense. And if you told me before the game, what did he score, 82 points? I think it was 82, whatever it was. I'd be happy for them to score only 82 points because they could easily score over 100 points on you. It's just that I wish we executed a little bit better. Um, I thought we rebounded. Pretty decent, especially on the offense glass. We out rebound there. And I thought with, against that kind of pressure, we only had 11 turnovers. And some of them were offensive fouls. So, you know, I expect a lot from them. But I know the realistic part of it. Because you know, we come and compete. You know, it wore me out. I never had to yell so much in my life. You know, but that's OK. Hey, Coach Luke, you have uh, three new transfers in the starting five. I guess three transfers, uh, a couple guys in the front court, and then Marcus Elliott. In the backcourt, made some good shots there down the stretch. Can you talk about how some of those new guys uh, meshed with uh, the new identity of, of FSU this year? You know, they're talented players. They just, I got to get on some habits that they had at the previous school. Because, you know, they play a certain way, we play a certain way. And uh, I'm trying to get them on board because the only thing we care about is winning games. And I tell them that from day one. Whatever role they got to do, they have to do that. Get that in your head now. I'm not looking at individual stuff. Just, do the stuff I need to do on offense and defense, execute on both ends. But they're talented, so they'll get better, stuff like that. You guys were much better in the second half. Were you just kind of getting over the nerves, you think, and starting to play basketball? For sure. There's no question. Because you know we had, even first half, we had some good looks, wide open looks that were missing. But hey, you're just speeding up because athletes are coming at you. They just sped us up just a little bit when we weren't comfortable. You know, we got a wide open shot. Then we take one or two dribbles, and we, then we shoot a contested shot. Anything at the rim, they're blocking your shot or they're going to make you shoot it higher. Um, it, it just, you know, I tell the team, the only thing you can control is how hard you work. And I don't care about the scores. As long as we're working hard, we're going we're gonna to mess up on defense, we're going to mess up on offense. But if we're working hard, I'll be pleased with the effort because you got to get the effort first. You take that for granted, but you really shouldn't take it for granted because it's just the way kids are these days. Um, you hinted at how loud it was in there whenever you were guys were playing in that atmosphere. How do you think that will help your team down the road whenever you're playing against some of these other teams in the CIAA? Oh, it's going to help us extremely, you know, because we're not going to get that environment like we did today. Now, we got some tough, small gyms that's really loud in there, and uh, it's a great atmosphere. You know, I, I, made, I made sure a couple times, you know, during a timeout, I didn't want to get caught up in the atmosphere. You can't ask for anything better. The tradition, the history, just everything. You know, so it's going to help us. This game will help us. You know, there was no question about it. Because teams that we play the rest of the season are not going to be like this. 
Like every time you make a mistake, you're gonna pay for it against them. There's no question. And they're well coached, they got their system, they work hard and stuff like that. So it was definitely gonna help us. You know, it's you know, be nice, you know, great great atmosphere. I'll come back next year to invite us just for the atmosphere. All right, no problem. <laughs> no problem. You know. Well, thank you for everything. Appreciate it. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach.